Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do the June 4th Spiritual Principle Day in a Meditation. How are you doing today? That Just for Today meditation was amazing. The title of this meditation is Finding a Life with Purpose. What a joy it is to be a part of something that not only saves people's lives, but makes them worth living. That comes from the Living Clean book, Chapter 5, Fellowship. We're brought together by desperation. So being alive and clean may seem like enough reason to be joyful at first, but wait, <laughs> there's more. Even in our earliest days clean, we may have some inkling that we are part of something special. We may wonder, Am I being indoctrinated into a cult, but with no discernible leader and no dogma to adhere to? We can rule that out. We decide to keep coming back. I'll just play along as we see what these weirdos are up to. So we're clean. Now what? We come across this passage in the basic text. When the drugs go and the addict works the program, wonderful things happen. I like the sound of that. We start to piece together what it means to work the program and find some practical advice in what can I do? Chapter five of the addict's owner's manual. We go to lots of meetings without using between them, even on holidays. We get a home group a sponsor, and a service commitment, and we find ourselves surrounded by people who take great joy in our progress. They want nothing from us, just good things for us. They offer us words of encouragement, lessons from their own lives, and epic tales of shenanigans with other members. They point out our growth and say they're happy, grateful, and even honored to be a part of our miracle. We smile and nod and our eyes start leaking. All we can think is, this NA thing is a trip. Our lives are transformed as we become both the helpers and the helped. Now we're so those, excuse me, now we're those people with stories and kindness for the newer folks and are moved by being a part of their miracle. Our mentors continue to evolve too, and they allow us to help them. We found a purpose and a framework for living. We are free from active addiction. And although that's NA's only promise, that freedom opens up in unimaginably wonderful ways. I will soak up the vitality around me and be grateful to have found a life with purpose. Wow. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change. The courage to change the things that we can. And the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please, and thank you so much. Yeah. Wow. You know, I'm sitting here and I'm almost... In awe. I mean, I guess I am in awe. I'm sitting here. And I don't know if I told you the other day, I decided to project, right, my computer screen onto my big screen TV because it helps me to see better. And it does help the flow of me being able to read without squinting or searching for reading glasses and I'm sitting here looking at this huge television 
with all of these words on a white background, right? Words written on a paper. And I'm thinking to myself, in fewer than probably 200 words, maybe, I'm not sure how many words are here. These words written on a paper have captured the essence of the majority of our lives coming to this fellowship, wondering what, what's really going on? Who are these people for real? Is this a religion? Is this a cult? And we figure out, mm, well, they keep saying this is spiritual, not religious. And they keep saying, keep coming back. And they keep saying we can have a God of our own understanding or, right? So probably not that. Most of us have had that experience. And then they just walk us right on through our individual growth. And I thought to myself, how powerful is that? And just say maybe a foreigner comes and they grab a hold of this particular meditation. They see all of these words and they can't read English and they can't speak it. It is just words on a piece of paper to them. They know that it's supposed to say something because it's written. But this speaks my language in more ways than one. And to be able to see all of these words line together and have this level of impact is awe-inspiring to me. We're talking about finding a life with purpose. We're talking about going from putting a needle in our arms every day, from popping pills that don't even belong to us and we don't even know the side effects, to drinking stuff that we know is a tonic that shouldn't even be mixed together, right? To, I don't know, putting stuff in our nose, all kind of in our nose, all kind of things that we did to get high. We go from that being our only purpose is to figure out where the next one was going to come and use it. Right? Come to and do it again. That was our only purpose. Some of us stopped taking baths, stopped brushing our teeth. Um, the medications that we were supposed to be on for high blood pressure, we stopped taking those. Um, whatever it is that we were doing that was healthy, eventually we stopped because that's how the disease of addiction is. It takes over. Right? It takes an inch and eventually it takes a mile and then it takes all that you are. You heard that, right? The man takes a drink, a drink takes a drink, and then the drink takes a man. I had this friend. I miss her so much. I'm not sure where she's at, but she drew a really interesting picture of a liquor bottle with a man folded up inside of it with just one arm trying to get out, Right? And that's what the disease of addiction is. The disease of addiction doesn't care about your substance, right? Because the disease of addiction is mental, right? Compulsory, right? It is physical and it's deeply spiritual. So it could care less if it's food versus alcohol versus weed versus pills versus heroin versus coke, meth. It doesn't care. I promise you, it doesn't care. And you could say you're cross addicted. You could say you're sober and clean, clean and sober. At the end of the day, we all are suffering from the disease of addiction. Maybe we're not suffering from the active part of it, but we know that we have this disease of addiction. And part of our daily medicine for that is listed right here in the middle paragraph. We're clean. Now what? Don't know what to do? Go read, what can I do? And then apply some of those suggestions. Get involved with some service work. Get involved with carrying the message to other people just like it was carried to you for free. 
without demanding anything back, that's hard. Because we might not demand money, but maybe we demand notoriety, right? We want people to put us on a pedestal because we're the chair of something. Well, they're not going to. They're not going to. That's not going to happen. But the point is, is that we're different people. Our purpose has changed. We have a life worth living today. And even if you're only a day into it, you just arrived at the rehab and someone's in your mind making you listen to this meditation, right? You're further in that one day clean than you were yesterday. There's so much potential. And even though the only promise is, is freedom from active addiction, the only promise Narcotics Anonymous makes is freedom from active addiction. Once that freedom takes place from active addiction, you know how we say, once I get high, once I take that first one, all bets are off. Let me tell you something. Once we stay clean, anything's possible. All bets are on, right? So I'm glad you're here. I know you may not be glad that you are, but eventually I think you will be. When you start seeing things change, things that you've lost, people that gave up on you, start inviting you to family dinners again, they want to see you. <laughs> you just wait. You just wait. And I can say it'll happen. It may not happen for everyone. I'll put that disclaimer out there. But there's a great possibility it will because you're not using anymore. You're recovering. You're not just clean. You're recovering. All right. Well, listen, we're done here for today, June 4th. I hope that you'll have a beautiful day on purpose. You deserve it. And if you don't do it for yourself, <laughs> nobody else is going to chase after you to make sure you have a beautiful day. It has to become something that you want and something that you're intentional about. That when you see people gossiping, you go the other way. You don't invite trouble in your life today, right? You can do this. Absolutely. I got faith in you. Talk to you tomorrow.